Today, a prayer service and celebration of life was held for the first and only first gentleman of Louisiana, Raymond's coach Blanco, who passed away last weekend. News 10's Jasmine Dean joins us from UL's campus, where the community reflected on Coach Blanco's life and legacy. I'm here at UL where the community has come to pay their respects for Louisiana's former first gentleman and UL's former administrator, Raymond Coach Blanco. Blanco was loved and admired by everyone he impacted. Visitation was held Sunday night until 7 p.m. where the community came and listened to reflections. I think that's his legacy. I think the people that he was very close to. Uh, who shared his values and his philosophy. Raymond Coach Blanco was a staple in the community and the state of Louisiana. The first and only former first gentleman of Louisiana and former UL administrator has worn many hats and impacted just about everyone he's come in contact with. The unique thing about Coach was that he seemed to assume uh, a very strong parental fatherly a relationship with a lot of his players, particularly those who were who were kind of uh, in need of that type of uh, parenting. Blanco passed away a week ago, and before his funeral, family and friends gathered to remember Coach in a prayer and reflection service held in the ballroom of UL's campus. With memorabilia, pictures, and awards, people are able to walk around and see the life and legacy of Raymond Coach Blanco. He was very, very supportive and very involved in the civil rights movement that's a long time ago but the continuing effort to uh, make things fair and make things just uh, with the system of justice and with dealing with with everyone visitation will continue on monday the 28th from 10 a.m until 12 30 followed by a mass and funeral at st john's cathedral in lafayette jasmine dean klfy news 10. Following Mass, a burial service will take place at St. Charles Borromeo Cemetery in Grants Coteau.